Um, I've got 20 feet on all corners, 20 feet on the uh, middle sides, and uh, an extra 20 and an extra 10. So with all of that, you can um, pretty much hang this thing anywhere. I've yet to find a site that I haven't been able to hang that. Um, and again, for any details on like the type of rope I use or anything like that, you can check that out and find it on uh, Maddie the Goose in the gear section. I've got my uh, toilet paper here in a watertight bag. Um, this is my um, med kit. I'll definitely go over this at some point, uh, all the contents. It is listed on uh, Maddie the Goose, but um, maybe on another recording I'll just go through the, the contents of, and go through the, the what and whys of uh, everything I have in here. Um, this is my uh, bear bag rope. So this is what I use to hang my food at night to keep the uh, the bears, well, not really so much the bears, it's really more of the raccoons and the mice and stuff from uh, um, getting into it. And my tent, this is the uh, this is a three person, uh, a little bigger than I need and uh, certainly heavier than I need. It's about eight pounds. It's the uh, North Face Roadrunner 3. Um, I've always been meaning to get a new tent, but I really do like this one. It's a rock solid, it's been um, nothing but reliable for me so I just keep on putting off getting a new one but it'll certainly shed me some pounds and a little bit of size whenever I do finally uh, uh, cop up the cash to, to get a new tent. Um, this is my sleeping pad. Uh, this is Thermarest um, Ultralight. Uh, great pad, not much to say about it besides uh, I recommend the Thermarest. Uh, this is my pack cover. Uh, this usually goes in the uh, side pocket of the pack. Um, really don't use it as a pack cover much because everything I have in my pack is all watered tight. Um, I usually use this. Um, I'll take it out and open it up, cinch it so that way the uh, the, the mouth of it is about uh, two feet around. And that's where I'll just put all my loose stuff. Um, it's just a good way of keeping everything together because it's really easy to lose things whenever you're out there. So it just keeps uh, keeps everything together. and keeps things from getting lost. Um, this is my uh, my sleeping bag. It's a uh, Mech Drake. Um, great bag. Uh, not that expensive either. It's about $110 compared for what you're going to pay for some of the bags out there. Again, this is something I could probably get a little lighter and a little smaller, but um, it's been a, a really good bag. Uh, quite fond of it. It's also square, it's not a mummy bag. I'm just not a fan of the mummy bags. It just feels a little too confined. And uh, this is the food. Uh, again, this is just for uh, a weekend trip. Um, as far as it goes for everything here, uh, whether I'm going for two days or two weeks, it's pretty much going to be exactly the same. The only difference will be the amount of food and the amount of fuel that I bring. Otherwise, I don't change anything. Clothes, everything's exactly the same. Um, and speaking of clothes, we have um, got my hat here. This is the uh, OR, um, oh, I can't remember the model anyways, it's uh, on Maddie the Goose. Great hat, repels water really well um, and uh, provides good cover as well whenever it's raining. Uh, I always bring handkerchiefs. I have one on me at all times and then I always have a spare. So whenever one gets really dirty, I put it away, I get out the other one and whenever I get a chance to wash it. Uh, wash the dirty one, then I just keep on rotating. Uh, just good for just generally cleaning up and uh, uh, just general use around the uh, the site. I've got uh, quick dry pants here. Uh, these are pretty light. I usually wear these ones here during the day. Uh, I usually wear the, I don't usually, uh, they, both of these pants here zip off, but generally I don't, and it's usually whenever you're portaging, it just keeps, uh, uh, keeps poison ivy and that stuff off you. I just come within 10 feet of poison ivy and I seem to get it so um, and so yeah so these are my lighter pants I wear during the day these are a little heavier and uh, generally whenever I hit camp these ones here are often a little wet I'll uh, change into those they're a little warmer for the uh, cool Algonquin nights uh, I got socks two pairs I got uh, some light long johns and trusty boxers um, this is a um, zip tee shirt from Mech, it is like a pullover, extremely warm, it's very light. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the material is, but as soon as you put it on, it fits tight to your body and you just feel yourself starting to warm up. It's a great, uh, great pullover. I've got a wicking long sleeve shirt here. 
Um, also good just to wear um, right against your body and uh, it helps to, to wick, uh, wick moisture away. And I've got these shirts. These are both Cloud Veil. I think they're called Classic Tees or something like that. Um, these are fantastic. I have two of them. They're identical. Um, before I only had one and I brought another shirt and I would just always wash the one, the Cloud Veil that I had. Just because uh, the pockets are so perfectly positioned, it's uh, really cool. Uh, just great, uh, great shirts. In here I have my um, my rain jacket and my rain pants. And this is just my stuff pillow here. You just stuff this full of your clothes and that gives you a pillow. I used to just stuff my, uh, my sweater, uh, but for the extra two ounces, this thing here works pretty well. It keeps everything well confined. And I get to stuff it with my sweater, which gives it a little bit more loft, a little more comfortable. Uh, this is uh, two small micro towels here. Um, although I really don't use them as towels, I use these more for, um, I put these on the, um, on the yoke on the boat for the uh, portaging and I strap them on with this Velcro here and it just makes it a whole lot more comfortable. It just keeps it from digging into your shoulders and just uh, hitting those nerves there after you've been portaging for kilometers. And I've got my glasses here. Um, this is Maddie's stuff. Maddie uh, always comes with me on my trips, especially in my solos. Um, this is her own little mini uh, sleeping bag. This is just a super light, pretty cheap bag that I had. And I just cut it in half. Um, it can get down to pretty chilly. It's been going down to three degrees. So I just like knowing she's as warm as I am in there, not freezing her tail off. This is her food and her life jacket. Now, really isn't so much for the life jacket. If I can actually just find a harness, I've got to just look around for one. But um, because what I use it for mainly is this handle. Uh, if she jumps out of the boat, it uh, can be tricky getting her back in if you don't have some way to haul her in. And that handle, I can just reach out, grab her, and uh, chug her back in the boat. Also works good for uh, being able to control her if there's a wildlife around or something. I don't want her either running away or running after it. I can just grab that handle and hold on to her, even just like lift her up off the ground and hold her. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's mainly just for that uh, that handle. It works well. Got my shoes. I don't wear hiking boots because uh, um, I really just don't see the need for them. I don't really need the ankle support. And especially whenever canoeing, whenever you're putting your feet under the seat and you're kneeling, um, the hiking boots can generally uh, jam up under there. I find it's a little more uncomfortable. This is the baler, just a juice container cut in half. I've got my knee pads here. These are just foam pads. I uh, rest on the bottom of the boat uh, just for those long hauls. Keeps it a little more comfortable. This is the uh, the painter. I attach this to the front for tying off the boat and uh, if I ever have to uh, line it. And whenever I'm uh, whenever I hit camp, I'll usually pull the boat up on shore and I'll use this as a uh, as a clothesline or gear line. This is my uh, my flotation device. Um, this is a uh, cheaper life jacket than I had before. I have another one that's more expensive, but uh, this one here is just really light. Um, doesn't really get in the way, and um, yeah, it works great. Got a whistle on here. Always keep a whistle on your life jacket um, if you ever get uh, in a situation that you need uh, you need some help and you're just bobbing around in the water. That's the the thing to do it. Um, got my paddles here. This is the uh, standard issue paddle. Um, but uh, I use this for whenever I'm in shallow water. I may be touching bottom. And uh, then this is my good paddle here. I really prefer beaver tails and otter tails. They just give a much better stroke. Um, just feels a lot better to, uh, to use. And I think that is, uh, I think that's about it. All of this goes into my backpack here, which is an Arcturix uh, Bora 80. Uh, it's a heavier pack, weighing in at about uh, eight pounds. But uh, it is tough as nails, and uh, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, having a really tough pack is nice because I don't want to have to worry about um, um, having to do repairs or falling apart on me on the uh, on the, the trail. I can just uh, toss it around and not worry about it. And last but not least, this is my coveted Bark River North Star knife. Love this knife. Super durable. Um, highly recommend uh, the Bark River brand and. Uh, especially the uh, the North Star here. Very, uh, very good. So anyways, that's it. That's all the gear. So I'm going to pack this stuff up and um, we'll go over that and we'll just, uh, we'll get ready to go.